Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to take this and grow your own pineapples from it. Pretty much everybody knows you can grow a pineapple from a top. It's one of those projects, you know, you cut the top off and you, you're going to grow it. But for some reason, everybody thinks the best way to do stuff, to root things, is to root them in water. And you know, that's not really the best way to do it. There's a couple of things you need to know about rooting a pineapple top which will help you have consistent success. I spent over four years down in the Caribbean, and down in the Caribbean we grew a lot of pineapples. And I learned some tricks from local farmers that were a big help, and it's easier than you think. So I'm going to show you with this pineapple top, which we cut off a few days ago, how to do exactly what you need to do to grow a good plant from it. So here's the old fruit piece. We're going to just pull that off. And we're going to expose something that's quite interesting. So get rid of that. You come down here and you start pulling off these little rings of leaves. All these little dead leaves down here. And we'll get into the actual stem portion of the pineapple. And you'll see something interesting. Just gonna keep going up the stem, carefully ripping them out of here. So we get a little higher up. Now you don't want to go too high, but you want this, this bottom portion clean. This is where you're going to bury in the ground. Now right in here, there are the nubs, like right there, of little roots that want to form. There are nascent roots all right inside of here. This is where they grow from, and I discovered from a farmer that grew pineapples, that if you leave all these leaves on there and you don't uncover these little roots, it takes much longer to grow a good pineapple. So what you do is you just kind of peel it and you open them all up and there, see, those are gonna be your new roots, those little buds. They're hiding down there inside of the leaves. And what I used to do was just bury the entire thing into the ground like this with all these leaves on the side of it. And now I realize, oh, if you uncover this and you open it right up, it gets to rooting right away and you could produce a pineapple faster. So now that you have it like this, it's time to plant it. I've got a pot of soil here, just regular well-draining potting soil. Pineapples actually don't like a lot of water. They can handle it with good drainage, but they don't like it if it stays soppy. I'm just sticking it in there, firming the soil around it, and, and that's it. Now you can just take this and put it in a sunny spot and it will start rooting and growing before you know it. Potted pineapples are really easy to take care of. They're related to air plants, which are another bromeliad. They often sell them stuck into little seashells as magnets and then you stick them on your fridge and just watch them die over the next six months or so. But they're really cute when you get them. In trees though, they live with very little nutrients. I mean, you don't have to just pour on the nutrients. You, you pretty much hardly have to feed pineapples at all. And if you have them in pots like this, even if you're up north, you could take this pot in and put it in your screen room or put it in a sunny spot indoors through all of your frosts and then put it back out again in the spring and you would still get pineapples. You could get pineapples off of this thing in about 18 months to three years, depending on how happy it is. If you mix a little compost into the soil, they really, really like that. They like a mild nutrient tea dumped on them, like diluted compost tea. Just don't end up putting any grains of fertilizer or something right in the middle because you could just burn the entire plant out. They really don't like being flooded. Like I said, they don't like tons of water. If they start to turn a little yellow, just give them a mild nutrient solution and they'll keep growing for you. And after a year and a half, two years or so, 
you'll see a pretty little bloom up here in the middle of here. It'll be this brilliant pink or bluish, sometimes white bloom that appears in the center and it starts to come up and it gets really, really pretty. And then that bloom develops underneath into a pineapple. The pineapple will grow out of this old pineapple top. When the plant gets to a size where it really looks happy and it's like, yes, now I can have children, then it will make it. If it stays small and shrimpy and you don't give it enough sun and it has no food whatsoever, it'll just kind of sit there and limp along for a long time. It'll be like, Man, those pineapples are taking forever. But if they're fed, they'll grow and they will make a pineapple. And you can do that in pretty much any climate so long as it gets enough sunshine. I've grown pineapples in bad sand. I've grown them in pots. I've grown them in North Florida where we got frosts and I would just carry them into my greenhouse. Even in a sheltered location, like underneath an oak tree, if the frosts aren't too bad, they'll live through it and they'll produce. But don't try to root them in water. You end up with rotten messes a lot of the times. Yeah, sometimes it'll work. But ideally, you're just gonna strip those leaves off, put it into a pot, take care of it, and it will make pineapples for you. And it doesn't just make one. It'll start to make a little colony of pineapple type plants, right? So it'll start to It'll start to branch and spread, and you may have to break it up into pieces and pot it into a few. But once you start getting pineapples, you'll often get pineapples every year. So it's super easy because you can grow it for free, and it's fun, and it's hospitable, and it's a little taste of the tropics wherever you live. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to check out my book, Free Plants for Everyone, The Good Guide to Plant Propagation. I will put a link below this video in the description. And until next time, make your thumbs always be green. I went to see David, David the Good. We listened to Portis Head and drank spiced rum. Hey, hon, come check out this soil. It's taking me all day to go. Hi, hon. Wow, this soil is so rich. I know, it's trying to be like me. Oh, my word. Is this a water apple tree? Yeah, it's going to go great in the soil. Wow, it's really gonna take off here. What's in the soil anyways? It's best you keep your business to yourself. All right, I don't need no answers.